Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Logan Kilpatrick and I'm the community manager for the Julia language. In this video, we are going to be going over how to actually install Julia locally and then how to also install Interact, which is a software that's going to help us run uh, notebooks in Julia. So step one for this is going to be going to the Interact website. The URL for the website is just interact.io. We can click uh, we can click try the Interact desktop app for Mac OS or for Windows or whatever your, your operating system is. So we'll give this button a click. It is going to open up a downloader. Once this finishes downloading, we're just gonna give it a double click. This process might look slightly different depending on what your operating system is. I'm running on Mac OS, so it's, it looks this way on Mac OS. And like I said, it might look slightly different for you depending on if you're running Windows or, or Linux. So we see the little Interact icon. I'm just gonna drag that into the application folder. And that gives us step one is complete. So we have Interact installed on our computer now. Step two is actually gonna to be to install Julia locally on your computer. So you can open up another tab and we are gonna to go to juliolang.org. The website might look slightly different depending on when you're viewing this video. Um, but as of this moment, this is what the website looks like. So we're gonna click on download in the top left-hand corner. The current stable release of Julia as of the recording of this video is Julia 1.4.1 and all of the lecture materials for the Introduction to Julia uh, course that you're part of will all work with Julia 1.4.1. So I'm running on Mac OS, so I'm just gonna click the 64-bit download for Mac OS. It's gonna open up a downloader just like it did before for Interact, but this time for Julia. Two-finger click that again, or double click that again rather. And again, this process will be slightly different depending on what your operating system is, but in general, this is the, the steps that you're gonna wanna go through. So we have the Julia 1.4 application. We're gonna drag that into our application folder. It moves everything over and clear all this out. The very last uh, installation step that we're gonna have to do is you're gonna see Julia 1.4 here in my applications folder. I have a bunch of other ju versions of Julia because I've done Julia development and um, other versions of Julia. But for this video, we're gonna be using Julia 1.4. So for me on Mac OS, I'm gonna two finger click the icon and I'm gonna click open. This is gonna open up Julia in my terminal. It's gonna ask me if I really wanna open it up and I do really wanna open it up. So should pop open and this is what the Julia in your terminal will look like by default. All I wanna do now, um, the, the very last step to connect uh, Interact and Julia together is installing a package called iJulia. So you see the little bracket icon in between these quotation marks, you are going to want to type that into the Julia terminal. So without the quotation marks. So I'm just gonna type that in it's gonna show at v1.4 uh, or whatever version it is, and then the word package. So after that, you're just gonna type add iJulia. And this will add the iJulia package. Again, iJulia is just sort of an interface between the Julia language itself and the Interact application on your computer. So you need this as sort of the intermediary between these two pieces of software. So my, my, you can see it says resolving package versions here. My uh, project.toml and manifest.toml files didn't change. Um, I actually had Julia previously installed on my computer. I just removed it and then reinstalled it for this video. So in your case, it might not look exactly the same, but the, the, step is, the steps are exactly the same. You're gonna add iJulia and then you'll see a bunch of stuff show up on the screen and it might do a bunch of other printouts. Um, but this, 
this is the only step that you need to actually do in the terminal. So don't, don't worry if it looks a little bit different on your computer. So we have iJulia installed, which is awesome. Next, we're gonna to wanna to actually go and launch Interact and make sure that everything worked the way that it was supposed to. So for me on Mac OS, I'm gonna navigate back to my applications folder. I'm gonna find Interact, here it is, and I'm gonna open it up. So it's probably gonna give me a warning here. And it's gonna say, exactly. So it's saying Interact can't be open because Apple cannot check for malicious software. Uh, this is totally okay, and this is what happens if you double-click to open up the application after you install it um, on newer versions of Mac OS. To get around this, um, you can just two-finger click or right-click um, if you're using a mouse or control-click, and then press open. And then, yes, I really do want to open it. I'm pretty sure that's an uh, operating system-specific uh, quirk, so you won't have to do that if you're, um, if you're running on Windows. So now we have a a blank, um, we have a blank notebook open. The only thing we wanna check really quickly is on the toolbar at the very top of your computer, it should say runtime. You can click runtime, and then we wanna make sure that near the bottom, it should say Julia 1.4.1. So as long as it says that, that means that we are good to go. So mine says Julia 1.4.1 because I installed iJulia and all of that worked, so I'm good, I can close this out. And now we can navigate back to the tab that had Julia Academy open. And you can see this is what the, the course looks like. We see Jane's awesome video here. And then there should actually be some download buttons that include some files. And the files end with the dot IPYNB. And that is just the standard um, extension of a notebook file. So we can give that a click. It's gonna open the file up again. I can double click to open that file. And now we see that uh, we have this notebook open that Jane is going through in, in her examples. So we can then go sell up in the top left-hand corner, and then we can do run all. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna run each individual cell of this notebook. And if you look closely where my cursor is right here, you'll see that it's about to little star showed up there. That star is an indicator for what cell in the notebook is being run at any moment. So if you were to follow the execution as it goes down and runs each individual cell, you'll see that little star go down the, go down the file. So that's it. So we have, now we have Julia installed, Julia 1.4.1. Um, we have Interact installed, which is what we're looking at right here and we've also installed iJulia. So those are the three different key components that you're gonna to need to actually run these notebooks throughout all of the courses on Julia Academy. We're using notebooks for all of them. So if there's any questions about this installation process or there's issues with this installation process, feel free to drop something in the comments, but it should be this, this process that I went through even though I'm using Mac OS, if you're on Windows or Linux, the process should be relatively similar. So hopefully you can use that as a template for getting your stuff installed. So that's all I have. You're back to Jane and she'll walk you through the, the rest of the basics as an introduction to Julia.